Howdy folks, welcome to episode 36, 37, I think this is 36. So anyway, we did an episode 35 and a half, it's on the playlist if you want to watch it, and we brought more of the, uh, we brought more of the iron up from downstairs and uh, at the smelter, and so as you can see here, we're almost filled with tools there, we've got 100 there, we've got steel pipes, it's actually we've got enough stock to make a bunch more as you can see here we've got 44 more raw iron still and we've still got coal so what we're going to do today is we're going to grab the box cars and go get some um, stuff and so let me see here we've got this here i really should make this this one um i should make this one merge into that one that would probably be helpful because then we can, yeah. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of these here, these cars, these buggies. <laughs> and yeah, cause we'll use them, they're in the save. We can return them when we need them back again, as always. And so we did do the box cars last, at the end of the last episode, um, or in the bonus episode, we did line up the box cars here, let's go like this and we'll put our thing in there too. Put our link pin in and let's check the 36%. Yeah, so we'll grab some more firewood. Hopefully we can put, yep, we can put firewood in there. All right, and we should be able to get going. All right, so let's go and we'll, there, we'll go. I'll talk while we're doing this. So. They did do, um, there was an update and then a hotfix for the update that just came out November 3rd and 4th, Thursday and Friday. Um, yeah, so it, there was some significant improvement to the to the frame rate um, while trains were running, it looks like. And um, it looks like when they're going across switches, the frame rate chops again it's apparently it's trying to decide what to do with the it's having <laughs> issues trying to decide how to deal with the switches which cars are going on which switch or something but but anyway yeah i ran this and it ran great and it was funny because as soon as i got to the switch it was like you know the frame rate anyway i mean the cars get moving but yeah it looks it it feels a lot smoother too it just feels weird because I'm not used to it being all not choppy like that. So we'll see how that's going to work. And they did do a couple other things in the upgrade, in the update that is. Um, they did a couple of, yeah, they aren't saving the status of that. That's not in the save file. Which makes sense because I, you know, I was looking at all that stuff. There's no light uh, forward light status or anything like that. Is this going to take me the wrong way? It is. Okay. Let's go like this. We're going to go this way. And yeah, because we need to go back to the... We need to go back to the other place. So, and we don't have anywhere to turn this around either, do we? Alright, let's go like this. Alright, let's jump out. We'll hit the switch here. They did change the switches so that um, you left left click and drag once again. They changed them. They got so many people that were like complaining that there's, and their complaint was that the switch only works once and then it never works again. <laughs> if you never right click on it, that's true. <laughs> You'd think they'd be getting mad and start clicking the other button, clicking other things. You know what I mean? The, just and accidentally make it change or whatever but yeah anyway um <laughs> i think there was even a wasn't there a little tooltip up there not that i read the tooltips you know <laughs> that i'm one to talk that you should read the tooltips but i still think it was kind of funny but yeah there were there were it was funny because um in the the thread for the update there were a bunch of complaints and it's like i swear every one of the complaints was um was one of those, uh, you know, I haven't played the game since March. Here, let's see. I haven't played the game since March, and these things have changed. <laughs> kind of complaints. They weren't, like, things that just changed in this update, you know, most of them anyway. 
there were some legit things that did change in this update that they were complaining about. But no, I just I just thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this around too. We're gonna re-rail it in order to turn it around so that we can pull the train forward. Because I don't feel like making a big loop here or something. We could do that. We could make one here. There's tons of room, right? But yeah, well, almost. It, this seems like it would be a good place to have a Y, wouldn't it? It seems like it would be. You have one that goes off here to the right, and then it comes back in that way. I think that would make sense. We've even see we've even got the things to do it right. All right. Anyway, go like this. Yeah, you could go off to that and come back that way or something like that. But we've got a bunch of. Got a bunch of weird track here. So yeah, we did the we did the box cars. We got them all lined up. They're all connected and everything. So we don't have to do all that stuff. We just need to. Um, so this will probably be a fairly quick episode. But yeah, we just need to hook up the box cars and go, and then we can load them up. And we're gonna load them all the way up um, with the thing with the save editor. We're just gonna load them completely up instead of um, only partially loading them. And you know what, since I'm going to re-rail these, we'll just do this. We're going to cheat. <laughs> I'm going to re-rail them here. So we'll go like this, re-rail, if it'll let me click it, tender, there we go. All right, and then we're going to go here, and I want to go the other way, clockwise. There we go. All right. And then we should be able to put that on there. Cool. All right. And is it going to stop? It's going to stop. Okay. And then we're going to re-rail. If we can click it. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to, whoops. We're going to send it here. You can do it. There we go. All right. Cool. And then this needs to go up all right and we should be able to just very gently move this back a little bit more there we'll just give it four percent and we should have brakes on everything so we should be able to just do this there we go and then we should be able to hit this i guess we're going a little fast aren't we There. All right. Now we should be able to go back into the cab and off. Turn that. Put the brakes on. All right. And then we want to make sure that our brakes are turned off on these. Let's go like this. Brake zero. I think I only had it on the first car. Yeah. So let's go into the map and we'll double check. So let's go like this. As you can see, we don't have any. Okay. And, you know, I probably should have put this the other way. We do need to turn around here, don't we? Why don't we go like this? We'll put a switch in here. And we'll make it so that you can just... Try. That's a whole lot of track to do that, isn't it? It seems like way too much track to make a turnaround. It doesn't seem like it's justified. Um, let's try going like... I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Because this doesn't really make sense, does it? This right here. Let's demolish this rail. Because we've, we've got other stuff. Let me see. If we do a... Uh, let's demolish this one. We're going to go like this. And we're going to connect this one to here. There we go. Is it is it just me or is that really sharp? <laughs> it's really sharp. Let's try that again. Take that out. And then take this out. And I think what we're going to do is we'll make this go... Um, let me see. We'll make this go to the right. There we go. And then this one 
is going to connect to here. Oh, my grid is at 100. That's why. I'm like, why is it there? Much better. We'll have this connect in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have... We'll have one of these come back in. So we're going to take these two out. Whoops. Oh, there's a little thing in there. Okay. All right. So what we want to do is we want to have... We're not, we don't have a switch there yet, right? Or did we put one there? Yeah, we put one here. So this is going to come out... And then it needs to come back the other way, right? I'm just I, my brain isn't isn't twisting the correct way. <laughs> Let's just lay the track out there and see what we need it to do. So what we want to do is we want to come out this way. We're gonna do we're gonna take a if we come back in going back this way yeah yeah that's right so it needs to come back pointing this needs to branch out this way okay so let's demolish this rail here and then we're going to put in a switch that goes like that And that's going to be where we come back in. So, yeah, if we go out head first that way, we're going to come back in head first like this. Cool. Okay. So this segment needs to connect to here. If it'll let me. There we go. And then this one's just going to do the big loop. So we'll go like this. We'll go like this and then we're gonna do let's do a, a radius and let's go not 130 let's go like 80 80 meter let's see how far this will let us turn it you know what? We're going to run out of room there. We'll go down to 70 meter. Where'd it go? There it is. Because it's going up a hill there. Let's see if we can get a 70 meter. I know I just saw that. There it is. I'm like, I just saw the connection thing. Okay. Is this going to... Yeah, see, it's going to go into the ground. Okay, we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go sharper than that. And then this needs to come out to, what does our heading need to be? I didn't see this hill here when we started this. <laughs> That's no fair. All right. <laughs> I know they do Ys, don't they? They do Ys when they do these. Okay, so let's try this. Three foot rail. We're gonna go. Let's go with like. We're going to go with an 80 meter for a little bit. And then we're going to go down to like 30. Maybe 40. There we go. Okay, and then we can go like this. We're going to go up 1%. And we're going to go back to straight line we don't need to be too yeah there we go it doesn't need to be too long and then we're gonna do like 80 again a little bit okay and then we're gonna go like this there 0.5 how is this gonna do as far as yeah see the problem is I don't have any 
yeah, I don't have a good sense of where I'm coming back. You know what I mean? So I think what we'll do instead is we will do like a Y. Demolish this. Is it going to let me? There. We're going to do a Y then instead. So we'll go like this. If we can, anyway. We'll see what we can get away with. So what we need to do is we need to go like this. We'll come up this way. And then we're going to go straight for a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be weird, but it'll work. We'll go straight for a little bit. And then we're going to come down or stay level or whatever. Yeah, we can come down. There we go. Because what we need to do is we need to get past that spot, right? So we'll go like this. Is it going to let us place that? Oh, is it too tall? Okay, we need the, we need a taller piece. All right, so we need, whoops. We need this one, and we'll come past here. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to put a switch that's going to go off to the right, I think. Let's see, which way is that going to be? Like that? Nope, that was totally not <laughs> what I wanted to do. Try that again. We want our switch to go off to the right. And we want the switch to be on the left. Yeah, we want that. But we need it to be like this. There. Okay. And then this can be our section that the whole train comes out on, if that makes any sense. No, we need to do, whoops. Like this. So this is just gonna be our section that all the cars come out on. And we do need to come up a little bit. Like this, how long is that, does it say? I thought it would say somewhere where the length was. I'm not seeing a length on it now. All right. But yeah, we need to do that and then a little bit more, I think. We'll do another segment just so that we're not cutting it close. And then like this. Okay, cool. So we've got that. Um, we could probably even just, let's do our logging. I don't think I need to do that in the save editor for right now. We'll just get the handful of trees. There's only a couple trees to, to pull out here. If it'll let me. That's the biggest thing. It's not it's not so much doing it, but that it like is frustrating. <laughs> that it that it doesn't want to hit the hitbox. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this track to the other one. And this is totally like a cheese ball, you know, interim solution here, isn't it? I think we need a better thing. What I want to do is I want to um, be able to lay out markers and stuff and figure that out, but we can do that with tracks too. We can just do that with stone, the stone wall tracks so that they stand out, you know, or even pieces of bridge or whatever. Okay, so this is going to come out here. We're going to go like this. There we go. This is going to come out, and then it's going to connect to this, which is not going to be there. So let's go like this track construction. We take this chunk of rail here, and we're going to connect it to wherever it is over here. 
Where's our switch? There's our switch. See? Like that. <laughs> All right. And then we should just be able to clear off the logs on here. I wouldn't mind the logging so much if it weren't so janky. Wow, that's really elongated. It's interesting what it did to the texture there. But yeah, if the hitboxes and stuff weren't, like if you could do a little bit more of a, a sweeping through and, you know, anything that's even close kind of thing instead of having to hit it exactly. More of a shotgun effect. Did it really? Oh, that's this piece. That's why. Okay, demolish rails. Demolish rails. Let's try this again. <laughs> that was weird. All right, so let's go like, let's try it like this. This will work way better. <laughs> Good thing I cleared out those trees on the wrong path, right? There. Okay. So now it should give us the right path. That was, yeah, that would explain why it did that. So I'm working on the, the save editor where you're going to be able to manipulate these spline points individually. So you can reshape corners. Um, you'll be able to split tracks segments eventually. I'm not sure if that will be in the first iteration of it or not, but yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, so we should be good to go as far as this. Wow, that's, see this too. That should be fixable with just being able to move the points, the spline points, that is. So we should be able to fix that kind of thing. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here And we're going to go forward. We are on forward. All right. So see our frame rate? Our frame rate would have been like down to 20 by now. But look at it. It's, it's staying, staying pretty good. This is all the um, switches. Like I said, you'll see when we get past the switches, all of a sudden it's like smooth sailing. <laughs> so it's cool. All right, we gotta get all of those cars past that, and then we can break. What are we down to, 27, 29? It's still smoother than it was before, I think, but I don't know. We've got this, so few cars now. Okay, so we need to switch this one. We'll go back here. That was interesting. It's like I was under the ground. Okay. Um, reverser. Let's go backwards. We'll turn on the bell. We're going through town, right? And yay, this is the fun section of track where, remember we used to have to like totally slow down on this, otherwise everything would just fly off the track spontaneously. So yeah, we fixed that, unless this boxcar is going to slam into the, the whatchamacallit, right? <laughs> Looks like we have room. Good. <laughs> I don't want the boxcar slamming into the... Oh man, we, we have room but barely, right? Missed by like an inch. <laughs> Alright, so we should be able to go down this. Now once we get past the switches, watch the frame rate. 17. Wow. That's really sharp corner on there, isn't it? 21. That was pretty scary, I gotta say. That's a, that's a pretty scary turnaround. See, suddenly it's, it's way back up again, although it's because we're slowing down, I think. Did I do this right? I think I did this wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I totally did it wrong. All right. Because it needs to go the other way, doesn't it? Um, we are at the end of the track, aren't we? Let's see. Yeah, so we need to go past the switch, and then once we do that... See, this isn't going to work right. That's not what we need to do. That's just going to bring us back where we came in. We need to be able to turn around the other way. So this is wrong. 
this needs to go the other way. So let's go like this. We're going to put a track here. And then we're going to do a leave the incline. We're going to do a turn here. Let's see what kind of turn radius we need in order to make this happen. That's 30. Let's see what 30 does. Because it looks like it might be 35 or 40. I don't know. We'll see. Why is it not letting me... There. Connect. No, it looks like 30 is going to be about what we need. So, minus 5. And let's do like this. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to put in a... a switch over here somewhere, right? Let's put in a switch going to the left. We'll do this. I think we need to there. We want to connect from here. Our switch is going to be about like that, right? Does that look right? That looks about right. Okay, cool. So we'll get our switch over here. This should connect nicely. Whoops. There we go. And then this should connect to down here, wherever, wherever it connects in. Let's see if we find a link. There it is. It's right there. We need to go like this. Is it? It's backwards. It's wanting to do it backwards. So, wait. Was there one there? That's backwards. Okay. Alright, we'll do it like this then. Okay. So, this piece is going to go away. And this piece, yeah, this is all going to go away. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a long piece of track. All right. And then we're going to connect this one to this down here. That's this one. There we go. Cool. So there's our turn around and then this should wow that's really really janky yeah so I definitely want to be able to play with the the to manipulate the thingies the spline points because we'll be able to smooth out those curves a lot nicer and then the other thing I'll need to do for that is because if you're manually controlling the spline points it'll also mean that you can um, make it go sharper than it's supposed to be able to do. So we got to deal with that too. Let's go up in here and we'll use the controller. We'll go like this. We'll use the controls. So we'll go. Reverser. Is it going to go? There we go. All right. And we got plenty of room there, so we're just going to come back here until the engine is passed. Whoops. Until the engine's passed. Close that. And then what we can do. What the? That was bizarre. <laughs> what is up with that? Okay. Well, that's a new bug. That's a brand new bug. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Remember the brake switch? Uh, I think that was in the episode, the bonus episode. But there was a... The the brake switch didn't move. That's funny. And so this will fix when it reloads. This is just a corrupted 
chunk of memory or whatever. Okay, so we need to switch this over to this way and then we should be able to turn around here. Now we are gonna not go at full speed because, yeah. We're not gonna go at full speed because you saw what happened last time. We'll get a little bit of, we'll get a little bit of velocity here, but that thing had a little bit of issue going around the sharp corner, so we'll keep an eye on it here. And I know we've got some up and downhill here. It's fairly subtle, 1% one, 1 grade, but we do have some grade here that we get to pay attention to also. <laughs> Not the missing car, the ghost car. All right. The Scooby-Doo ghost car. Yeah, I'm not sure why that would, that's weird. That all, that almost seems like a, a graphics card thing. That's definitely not something that, that the game itself um, code did. It's, uh, that's something either in the engine or in the graphics driver or something like that. The card uh, failed at a piece of memory or something like that, you know? <laughs> that's funny. All right. Unless people are reporting that all over the place, you know. If everybody's getting that issue, then it's something that needs to be dealt with. But okay, it looks like it's gonna go. Cool. We got our little turnaround. Should have made it go the other way. Although there's a hill back there too. So, but yeah, I think we might end up changing that. And the nice thing is though, if we get rid of this, we can paint the trees back in, right? Cool. Okay, let's head down there. I think we are good. So watch the frame rate, 32. It's dropping, but I think when we get past the switch, it should stop. It should go back up. Let's see if it does. Huh. Nope. Okay. I don't know what they did then, because yesterday it was actually going back up when I got away from the switches, but maybe it was something else. Huh? It's going up now. Let's see how the cars look on here too. 34. I mean, if you're if you're not playing in a first-person shooter, 34 frames a second is plenty. You know, unless you're moving really fast too. You start moving faster, and then the the jumps between things ends up getting stroby. But okay, it's stroby's a word. <laughs> See, it's dropping. It's dropping again. As we're getting closer to these sixteen. I wonder what my speed is. It almost feels like I'm going a little excessive because it's starting to do that little popcorn-y thing, you know? 14. So it should start coming back up again. Let's see if it does. 15, 16, 17. Yeah, see, you get far enough from those switches and suddenly it changes. The wheels really smoothed out, didn't they? 40. 41. Huh. Yeah, it's okay. Or maybe it's just certain areas. Maybe there, if there's track nearby or something. But yeah. It might be that just that because when there's a switch, there's also other pieces of track that are nearby. And it may be checking to see if it needs to collide with those or not. But either way. I would have to not put a switch and just put a piece of track. You know what? We're going to do that. Um, we're going to go like this. We're going to jump out. I'm going to test this. I want to see if, just for the fun of it, if we put a piece of track here, let's go like this, and we'll make it parallel here. Let's put a piece of track nearby. Let's see what happens. It 
So, because we get up to like 40, right? Going along this little segment right here. Let's see what happens. We're going to go backwards a little bit here and see if it drops. Whoops, wrong way, that way. Still at 59. Yeah, see, it's not dropping to like 12. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's enough. Um, <laughs> that's enough testing for me. I was just curious. All right, and we can get rid of this. And we'll jump back on. Okay. I just wanted to see. <laughs> I was just curious. So yeah, I think it is the switches. There's something going on with the code for those. All right. Sorry, it's the former QA. Apparently, there's no such thing as a former quality assurance engineer. <laughs> it's like being a marine, right? You're never, you're never, not a software quality engineer anymore. All right. <laughs> We're gonna slow down a little bit here. Hopefully our box cars don't smash into this, right? The train goes right through. Oh, they do. <laughs> oh, that answers that question. <laughs> All right, let's jump out here. Um, we can't. Oh, that's too bad. We can't go back back past that one. Okay. Yeah, apparently this does collide with that. All right, re-rail this. And let's go like this. You know what? We need to do the other way. Because I think this one doesn't let you hit that. Okay, and then we're going to do this. And we're going to come back off this segment. Um, let's see, reverse... All right, so what we need to do is we need to connect these when they hit. There we go, and this one. And hopefully it'll let us back this out. Hopefully, let's see. Is it gonna do it? I'm blowing the whistle. <laughs> go <laughs> oh it's so bad okay all right um we're gonna do let's see we'll disconnect this we're gonna put the brakes on this one if it'll let us reach it here put the brakes on this one we're gonna disconnect this we're gonna re-rail this one this box car we're gonna put this box car back here and there we go. Where's our brakes on this? We need to put the brakes on this one. Whoops, that is so disorienting. All right. Oh, cool, the hitbox is still there. <laughs> All right. And then we'll go like this there. All right, we should be able to back this up into that. <laughs> it's an adventure of an episode, isn't it? All right. We should be able to... Did it go? There. And then we need to get this one here. All right, and then we'll hit the brakes on that again. Where were they? There. If I climb really, really slowly as as I hit that, it won't do it. All right. Go like this. Okay, now we should be able to back up. There we go. We'll get off of this section of track and we'll just move this whole thing. We gotta make sure that the other side is clear too. 
so that's going to be a thing. <laughs> be something we got to do too. Okay, I don't know where this segment of track ends either. Let's see. I think it ends this. I think this is a separate segment right here. So we're going to demolish this piece. Okay, good. And then we're going to demolish this switch. And we're going to demolish this switch. Yeah, we do need to demolish the switch. And this piece. So yeah, we need to leave a little bit more space. And then this piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And we need to spin this around. So we're going the right way. And then we're going to have to move that. Um, we're going to have to move the other thing too. So is this parallel? It looks like it's parallel. Okay, so we need to be a little bit farther out. Like this. There we go. And then what we can do is we can go like this. We should be able to connect to wherever this hooks in. There it is. All right, and then we can get rid of this one. And then we need to um, put our switch in here. We need a switch that goes to the left. And it needs to go here. The trick is how do we get that in there, right? I think we're gonna leave that segment of track out for right now and we'll use the thingy to, to split that or something. So we'll deal with that later. And let's double check the other side because we need a little bit of, see, I think the box cars are gonna hit on this side too. So I think we're still gonna have to move all this stuff over. So let's go like this. We have a switch there, piece of track here, and this switch here. So let's go like, which way was that switch left? So this one was going like this. Alignment 90, yeah, okay. So we just need to move it out a little bit more. There we go. And then we should be able to do this with this one. And then we're going to leave this here. Whoops. Like that. And then we're going to connect. Whoops. We're going to connect this to wherever this comes in. Right there. There we go. That was weird. Did they change? They must have changed something. Those. That's horrible. Yeah, they must have changed something with the spline code because that's awful. Let's try that again. <laughs> that was really bad. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? It was taking a lot more suggestion out of the um, the earlier part. Okay, and then we need to connect this. this one segment here over to wherever it comes in. Don't tell me it goes all the way out there. Does it really go all the way that whole distance? Okay, it does apparently. Alright, so what we need to do is go like... That's interesting. This one comes up even higher. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. Is it just me, or is this coming really sharp off the tr off the? 
It's like the handles are really short or something. Okay, so we'll go like this, and then we're going to connect this one to wherever the next segment is. And then we can get rid of the outside piece. Is it here? There it is. It's right there. Where is it? Where's the piece of track going? Oh, I think I need to put a higher... I think I need to put a higher piece up there. Okay. Let's go like this. We're going to put a taller piece here. So we're going to go like this. We're going to use this one. And it should be able to just hook in here. Is it right there? There it is. Right there. What's it doing? Is it like going through the... It's going through the underneath the ground or what? Oh, no, it is. Okay. There's both pieces. Okay, so let's see which one we have to get rid of. We're going to go back here. And we're going to get rid of this piece. Because that one's not connected. And then whatever one up here. Was that it? It was just the one piece? Okay. It looks like that's it. Okay, cool. So we should be able to bring our whole thing through and load up the box cars and all that stuff. Awesome. All right. Looks like it's good. We're good. We don't have any like doubled up track or <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Anybody who's watched this series or any of my videos knows exactly what I'm talking about, right? Okay. get moving here see if we can get over to the box cars I like how this whole episode was basically just getting these box cars over here <laughs> it took all that just to get these box cars over there all right I think we can get a little bit of yeah that should be it should be enough room I'm hoping that it's not going to just fall off the side now when we try to load, unload, but I don't think it will. I think you have plenty of room over there for loading and unloading. All right, let's see how this looks when we go around this corner. This one is just acting, yeah, see, it's, it's it acts really funky on the corners now. So we need to, do need to be careful. <laughs> We've only had how many derails this episode? <laughs> right. Uh... We can give it a little bit more. There we go. I just like that one. That's fun. The ghost train. It almost looks like a debug thing or something, you know? <laughs> Alright, cool. I think we're going to make it there. So... We just need to get around this other corner. Maybe it's the, just the way it renders it out or something, but it just feels like it's trying to fall off the track, doesn't it? That's where we're going to run into a rock or something. Give it a little bit more speed. Yeah, frame rate's still a little bit better. It's, there's only a few places where it really choked pretty bad. Yeah, see, it's it's every time this comes down, this goes over that way really hard. All right, we'll see if we can get up to this thing. And I think we're good. Cool. So yeah, that is going to be it for episode. I think this is 36. <laughs> And apparently we're getting stuck. We need to pull harder. Yeah, join me in episode 37. What we're going to do is we're going to load up these boxcars. And we will take them over to the... Um, we'll take them over to the whatchamacallit. I probably should bring the other... The pipe. I should should have brought the pipe thingy so we can do the tools and the pipes at the same time. But 
Yeah, that's going to be it for episode 36. Join me in episode 37, and we'll see you then. Later.